Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. And when we last left off, we have a stakeout tomorrow to try and foil the killer's plans of kidnapping either Kanji Tatsumi or his mother. However, before we do end up going to bed here, you know, I feel like checking the refrigerator. What could possibly be in there? Well, I'm not a huge fan of cream soda, but it is melon cream soda, so why not give it a try? Well, considering I believe he just chugged that, I yeah, he powered down the thing in less than a minute. I'm just gonna guess he enjoyed that. No real point to drinking that, but hey, you can't really do anything else today. We can't really go outside, and we should go to sleep if we go upstairs, so it's always worth checking the refrigerator if you want. Well, we're stealthy as always, I see. Not suspicious at all. Has the target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother-issued rations in hand. Current status, in the bathroom, fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here! What was our excuse if someone asks why we're all back here in the corner? Are we all making out like I got Yukiko and Yosuke as Chie? Is that what we're going with here? I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. Well, that is typically a date opener, but for all we know, they're just going out on a friendly, friendly outing. What in the world was that? We've got to hurry after them, or we'll lose them! Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that. How should we split the teams? Um, well, let's see here. I don't really want to go with Yosuke. That's, uh, no. Uh, Chie or Yukiko? Well, we haven't really hung out with Yukiko, so let's go with her. Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight! Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Uh, okay. Alright, we'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Yosuke, I didn't do this to set you up on a date, man. Oh, not in a million years! There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Oh, let's hurry up and go. I did it to set myself up. I wonder if those two will be alright. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. So, shall we? <laughs> no, but in all, in all seriousness though, I did this for a reason. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Oh, well, how nice of you. Thank you. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? No, if you hadn't guessed it, the third option requires three courage. We currently have two, I believe, so we're not going to be able to do that. But let's try and assuage her fears anyway with I doubt it. Our efforts might be fruitless. But maybe that's for the best. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I. I guess I'm a little nervous. Uh, don't worry, we are looking for a killer after all. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> the same is true for me. 
I'm pretty sure that blushing is just out of shyness and embarrassment. I'm not going to read any more into that statement, but yes, finally, we get the social link. If we would have talked to her before in the hallway downstairs, it would have just said we needed an event to get closer. This was it. Ah yes, let's be fearless. Let's ask her straight up for a number. Huh? O okay, if you want. Can't always answer since I help out around the inn, but feel free to call any time. Oh yeah, that totally went better than Yosuke's failed attempt. If you were wondering what happened earlier, if you said I will protect you, she basically blushes and says she can take care of herself, I believe, or something along those lines. I'm pretty sure you need three courage for that, though. Man, this is weird. Are you talking about your positioning or actually tailing somebody? Because they're both weird. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I, I mean it. That, that is a very provocative stance you have there. No, I mean them! I get, I get this weird feeling about them. Well, as they say, different strokes for different folks, I guess. Weird? What about them's weird? If you can't figure it out, I'm not going to explain it. Um, I don't know how to put it. Oh, maybe it's just my imagination. Hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Lies. Lies and slander. <laughs> yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> you really gotta learn how to lie better. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I, I seriously don't know. I it's not like we've been hanging out that long. <laughs> the hell are you two doing? Oh, well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. Uh, what do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in your guys' way, and, and there's nothing strange about it either. Good way to put your foot in your mouth, GA. S strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait! Damn it! Say what you think! Y you got it all wrong! Hey! Are you listening, damn it! It seriously ain't like that! Why would you even mention that? Well, hopefully they won't get themselves killed over there. <sighs> we regret to inform that our mission failed. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Yeah. I'm really not sure standing outside of his house is the wisest of ideas. Aw, oh, hell. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw! We're not a couple. Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. But damn it! Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? 
Are you saying that I'm strange? Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face, or I'm taking you down! I vote for the leaving. What? Wait, why? I look like I'm choking! Oh, well, we couldn't just leave him alone. No, 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 we had to keep asking questions. And now, he is probably going to kill us if he sees us again. <sighs> Too much running. <sighs> well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. So I take it you're volunteering then? I'm not coming back here. Looks like we've got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Well, so today we got... Well, who am I kidding? The only thing productive we got today is Yukiko's number. Well, after that... I suppose we should probably head to bed here, considering I don't think we can actually do anything, considering we're tired of sprinting a whole block. No, I mean, I mean seriously, did you see how far we ran? It was like one block, if that. She works fast. Uh, Kanji-kun seems to be missing. How in the world do you know that? I had some calls to make for the inn, so I called the textile shop as well. Oh, I guess that makes sense. When I spoke to kanji -kun's mother, she told me that he'd left the house and hasn't returned since. She did say that this happens all the time, but what do you think? <laughs> About what? No, we were paying attention, but, uh... Hmm. Well, given my pessimistic view in games, I would have to say this sounds very bad. I think so too. He could be. It's going to rain again tonight. Maybe the Midnight Channel will come on. Then we'll know for sure if something happened to Kanjikun or not. I'll make sure to check out the TV at midnight. Talk to you later. Alright, well. I had granted her phone call was not of a romantic nature, but I guess we all should have saw that coming. I mean, we did just exchange numbers today, after all. Well, hopefully we won't see anything, considering if we do, that means we failed horrifically and miserably. Ah, oh, crap. We failed. Hello, dear viewers. It's time for Bad Bad Bathhouse. Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. Subtlety, meet window. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak-in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! Alright. We're going to turn this TV off, and we're never going to speak of it again. <laughs> you know, I, I really can't blame the guy. I mean, after watching that, I'd probably be flustered too. But you're gonna have to calm down. But that was completely over the top! Though, it really was Kanji! Damn it, we guessed right, but he still slipped through our fingers. If only we'd held our ground and stayed there a little longer. <sighs> In any case, that place that was behind him? What do you think it is? A superb sight for those searching for sublime love? I just don't get it. Anyways, we better hurry and come up with a plan tomorrow. Well, it would
would appear that Kanji has some different views on different things, I suppose, but uh, maybe that was just his shadow talking again. <sighs> Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Hmm. At first I thought it was one of those paranormal things, but when I gave it a try, it, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned-off TV on a rainy night... No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... Then I see a lot of people being beat up by Kanji in the future. It could cause a huge panic. All that, too, but my point still stands. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. Or at least a single part of them, anyway. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. <sighs> Yukiko had a show, too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um... This might be a little off-subject, but the culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Wait a sec, I bet he is enjoying it. <gasps> He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. I mean, we are talking about a killer here. He's not a healthy person. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan! Wait, so if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me, too? Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face. Guys, first we save Kanji, then we crush the killer. Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell. God. My bad there. I actually was laughing and accidentally hit the X button. You know, I can't help noticing... <laughs> <laughs> Me and Yukiko always end up laughing at the same things. Chie! Those last two were the same thing! Ugh, I know. And I will be back in a second, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>